Hello everyone, welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 3. This is the next FNAF game that we will tackle. And... Yep. I will now explain the reasons for off sync in the next cut. My past intro was completely scuffed because one, my microphone was not in the correct place and second, the media went offline because reasons. And... I did say that... FNAF 3 is probably one of the most easiest FNAF games ever. And that's because in the mobile version, it is ridiculously easy. But you guys will now see what the computer version is like. And I'm gonna let my future self do the, I mean, not future, past self do the rest. Without further ado, let's get into the new game. Yes. The horror attraction. And we just go in. First night. First night. Huh. Glad you came back there we go. Night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. I know that spring trip isn't here on night one, so Awesome, great. Be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner. Who would ever want to make out in the corner of this place? Really makes no sense things. whatsoever. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice. Yay. Foxy head, which we think could be Ooh. authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. Watch the fingers. Uh, I'm so far away from the fan. Right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I would rather not do that. We're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings said it was like an extra room that got boarded up or something like that. So, I would rather not can, dress up in a furry uh, suit because I have personal tra tra trauma you from my childhood. A click of blue button. Uh, button. This just gave it, just gave uh, it away uh, for like a game. Because uh, click the blue the button. Panel. Is there just now, a blue button blue in the wall that activates the cameras? Like, what? Why though? Why this exists? Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that's Slash the burn. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off live, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. What crazy okay, stuff exactly? Keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. And it's already 4 a.m. and now we just sit here and listen to the ambience. Hello. With a little bit of blue boy sprinkled in for flavor. But yeah, um, so far, so good. Um, like this is night one. There's nothing here. I am going to aim for the bad ending first. Okay, I am going to aim for the bad ending first and then I'm going to do the good ending, but Let's see. Ah, yes, high pitched noises. Come here and give me visions of random stuff from my childhood trauma. Yes, it's everyone's favorite thing. And it's finally, it's, it's, it's gonna come up again right now.
I'm rebooting the ventilation because the air isn't fresh enough. There we go, that's better. Oh! I breathed in such good air that has a mix of rot. Always nice. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, that one done. <laughs> so easy. Oh no, it seems my computer is glitching. Never mind. Come on, boy. Let's see what you got. I think in the mobile version, when you pl when you get to the mini games, the mini games also say WASD, even though there's no WASD. So that's weird. Oh no! And here we go. Let's get into the action, baby. Is it gonna start? Oh, it did not uh, respond. Oh, you're right there. Believe it, all right. I'm staring him down this instant. He's right here. I'm staring at him. Oh, that's very good audio. Screenshot is currently staring into himself, and the self he's staring into is also staring into himself because he's staring right at Kevin's head. Thank you for giving me information that I literally do not need. Well, this guy climbed inside and it was his biggest mistake ever. Oh, God damn it. He's out of the vents. And everything's fine. Told you everything's fine. I told you everything's fine. Everything is fine. Let's go. Oh no, the signal is in here. I won't be able to text. Ah, oh, god damn it. Hi. FNAF 3 is also all about listening. Basically, all of Fire's of Freddy's is about listening. Like, literally, it's all about listening. The whole game is literally just about how sharp your ears are. Even though I don't recommend you turn it up to full volume in case you die, but like, you could, you just have to pay really close attention, which is why I'm not speaking much. Oh, he's so stupid. Okay. I'm gonna reboot my audio. He's out of the vents. He realized how stupid he is. And he's there. He went in again. Oh no, this guy is stupid as hell. Oh my god. Can you can can you guys believe how stupid this guy is? Oh my god, I can't believe how stupid this guy is. Oh damn. I, I was worried that I actually wasn't recording there, so I tabbed out the check. But I am, which is awesome. Because then we can capture how stupid this guy is. And now he's back. 
Huh, it's a wonder why there's a random kid that shout, shouts hello or hi or laughs when you're you when you go away. And now we sit in silence. And I have enough time. And he's there again. Oh my god, god damn it. Oh wow, it, it, it's such a wonder why there's a random child that keeps saying hi in this room, right? I know. I bet, since since it says that when the animatronics are in suit mode, they tend to walk towards sound stay here. Imagine William Afton in here, unable to control the suit. Because it just goes with the programming, it just goes to where the sound is. And William Afton is just like, Bro, are you serious? <laughs> because he knows that there's nothing, that there's absolutely no one there. But then the suit is just like, Yeah, there's someone here, alright, let me just go check. Oh, damn. This guy, this guy. Oh, I feel so bad for him. I'm gonna end the video here, like, once I finish night two. And then we can get to night three in another video, because this is so funny. Oh no, now the sound isn't working too well. Hello. And I'm a smart cookie as always. I told you, there's everything about sound, okay? And there we go. <laughs> it's so far so easy. <laughs> some FNAF games you have to be strategic, some FNAF games you just need to listen, and some FNAF games require you to combine both. And Pizzeria Simulator and Ultimate Custom Night are the ones where you have to combine both. <laughs> now here's the thing, I might never be able to play actual VR how wanted until I actually grow up like and get my own money. But like seriously man. I can play the mobile version of How Wanted, which is just as good, except we don't have FNAF 3 in a lot of the games in there. But still, it's it's VR. It's, it's How Wanted in a way. Okay? Leave me alone. And we just wait for this night to load up, and we're exiting the game immediately, because... Any moment now. I'm so used to the mobile version loading instantly. Okay, we need to go. Okay, we're ending off there, and I will see you guys in the next Five Nights at Freddy's 3 video, where hopefully, you'll be able to see me show you guys how truly stupid and 0.1 IQ that Springtrap is, aka William Apton. See you guys! Bye.